Well, hello YouTube, it's N7MKY. Super excited to bring to you a quick unboxing of the mic by Shark RF. Handheld WLAN IP transceiver. Not too much excitement on this unboxing. Open the box, gives you some instructions. Connect to the USB power, press and hold the power button. And of course, if you want manuals, go online. There's the beauty. Now I cheated, I'm sorry, I actually unboxed this already and fired it up, configured it, and I gotta tell you, man, um, I think they hit it out of the park with this one. I know there's a lot of people out there that have already had these and are evaluating them and saying things like, well, the buttons on the side, they're a little too uh, recessed. It's hard to push it. You get your volume up and your volume down. And then of course your configuration buttons. A couple of things to note. Uh, if you lived back in the late nineties and used uh, pagers, um, kind of a menuing system like the old pagers where you had to scroll through uh, all the characters and then press enter to uh, enable the character. So you get your power button, you're up and down, and then this is your enter button. It also brings up the uh, system configuration. Also in the box, of course, our little handy dandy USB-C to USB-A cable. Not that we have tons of those laying around. And then of course, Shark RF uh, provided a lanyard. So uh, if you really wanna show off your tech, you can simply put your lanyard in, get it on there, hang it around your neck, and then, uh, of course, look like a real ham radio operator, um, along with all the other handhelds and antennas sticking out of your back pocket or on your backpack. So without further ado, let's fire this thing up. Mic profile one ready. Now, of course, I did configure Mike this. connected to YFS reflector A362. To my own reflector, which is 83624. Here in Boise, Idaho, that is uh, known as the monkey room, uh, N7MKY, MKY being monkey. The button down here brings up the uh, main system menu, and of course, you can go into quick setup, uh, messages, settings, and of course, about. So if we go into quick setup, here's all your information as far as changing to the different types of modes. You could pair it yourself. You can connect to another Shark uh, RF uh, open spot or another Mic1 um, client uh, running it. And Brandmeister, DSTAR, DCS, DMR+, FCS. Um, it just, like I said, I think they hit this one out of the park. And then, of course, YSF Reflector is the one that I mainly use. Now, the Escape button is the power button, and it brings you back to the top menu. Settings, here's where you can go in and um, change your connector and switch it to XLX, DMR, or YSF. Uh, configurations very similar to the OpenSpot platform, the OpenSpot 3 and OpenSpot 4. You can create different types of uh, profiles and switch them. Uh, wi Fi, <laughs> here's where you can do Wi Fi connect, reconnect, disconnect, stick it in IP mode, and then hitting escape again. You can uh, update your owner information, which is your call sign. Uh, you can also set the web password and you can do a complete factory reset. So if you're tired of it and you want to get rid of it and sell it to somebody else, which I doubt you will do, um, that's where you would reset everything. Uh, the about gives you your device uh, UID um, and everything about Shark. And the one thing that I really, really like about this <laughs> is it kind of takes a little while um, and you have to be intuitive uh, to 
get it set up by just using the push buttons. And it'll take you quite some time. But one thing that I found that was easy, just like the open spots, is that if you can actually get it on your network and go into the Wi-Fi settings and attach it to your Wi-Fi, you'll have the ability to go to the web browser and do all the configuration there, which is a lot more comfortable doing and a lot easier. The other thing I found also is when you are actually attached to a YSF reflector, um, it's very difficult to change it unless you go into the web interface. I haven't quite found out how to do that yet. So as you can see here, set destination, if you hold that down button for a while, you could actually set favorites. Since I'm on YSF, you could set D, uh, DG IDs, hitting escape again, hitting the up button. This will give you your call list, all the people that you've talked to, and you could scroll through it. And hitting escape. And then of course, simply just powering it off. <laughs> of course, on the back, you've got all your information and little QR code. So if you want to set it up on your phone, you can. Powering it back up. Mic profile one ready. Mic connected to YSS reflector A3624. LED lights, the battery, USB-C connection to charge the battery. And to just give you a size comparison, this is an FT70. So without the antenna sticking off, it is just about the same size as an FT70. So if you're still kind of sitting on the fence and thinking, all right, do I want one of these or not? Yes, you do. It is a lot of fun because think of this as an open spot and this and then your phone for connecting internet. Well, now you can just get rid of everything and use one of these. Fantastic product. Now for a, a sound sample, let's uh, wake up the screen. I'll use my FT70 and 7MK Y. Testing. Testing. And as you hear, I've got a lot of radios in the background. So let's turn that one down. And 7 MKY testing, no response needed. And 7 MKY testing, no response needed. And if I turn the volume up, that's max volume. And 7MKY testing, no response needed. And 7MKY testing, no response needed. And then, of course, I'm going to take this out of the camera shot and let you hear what it sounds like on the FT70. And 7MKY testing, no response needed. And 7MKY testing, no response needed. And there you go. Little eight minute shot of an unboxing. Sorry, it's not in one of my better videos, but hey, I wanted to get this out to you because if you don't have one of these, one of these needs to be under your Christmas tree. Thanks for watching. If you're not a current subscriber, I would greatly appreciate you subscribing. Hit the like button, share it with your friends, and the next video I'll do on this will be the web interface. 7-3.